What's up guys, Wildcat here, and it's been a long time since I've done a Q&A. I did one back in December, so that's about two months ago, and I think it's time I do another one. I asked everybody on my uh, Twitter to tweet me some questions and that I would answer them, so if you don't follow me on Twitter, you didn't get a chance to ask me a question, so you better follow me on Twitter, goddammit, or otherwise you're gonna miss your chance on the next one. So, follow me on Twitter, you guys ask me questions, I'm gonna answer them, let's go. Nico DeLurel, I don't know how to say your name. Uh, what's your favorite TV series right now? I'm really enjoying The House of Cards. It's only on Netflix, so it's not really a TV series. It's only on Netflix. Uh, I also like Breaking Bad, The Walking Dead, and that's pretty much it. Other than that, I watch a lot of comedy series. You know, like Family Guy in the Office and stuff like that. But yep, right now it's pretty much House of Cards. That, that, that's the shit. Kevin Spacey is a beast. Eric Davidov, I don't know if I said your name right, says, Do you like this drawing of you and your friends? I definitely do like that drawing, thank you, and I like all the drawings that you guys have been sending me. Um, a lot of you guys like to tweet me, my friend's fan art. Um, I know Delirious gets most of them, but that's because he's included in his videos and mentioned that he wants you guys to send them, so this is me mentioning now to send me some fan art. Uh, do like hashtag wildcat fan art or something and tweet it at me. You know, I'll go through and look through that hashtag and see your guys' stuff. I'll retweet them if I like them and favorite them and stuff, so definitely send me fan art. I think it's cool as shit. Jose asks, you could go back in time to ancient Rome. You bring one item from the present to impress everyone. What do you bring? I bring a gun, for sure. I would be a I would be a god. I would be just completely worshipped and praised because I could fuck some sh serious shit up. I I'd be like invincible. It'd be awesome. Marquand asks, how do your parents feel about you doing YouTube? They were definitely against it at first because it was something I was putting a lot of time into. You know, I was playing a lot of Xbox. My dad actually was like trying to my dad was actually like accusing me of being addicted to xbox and stuff like that and i don't think he understand like he definitely didn't understand what i understood i knew that if i kept doing it and kept working at it that i would eventually get to where i'm at now and where i'm headed um i saw that future he didn't he just saw it as me spending a lot of time doing stuff other than things i should have been working on but now that things are starting to go go well and that youtube has kind of become a job for me and stuff like that he's starting to appreciate it and respect it a lot more and at least my, I'm talking mostly about my dad. My mom didn't really care too much. Um, she just was concerned, you know, about me just being, not being in a bad position, you know, so. They're definitely turned around to the idea now, so. It's going good. They like it, so. It's good. Potty asks, what are you going to do once you hit a million subs? This is, uh, a lot of people actually ask me this question. That's why it's here. I really don't have any ideas, so if you guys want to leave me some ideas, I don't really want to do, like, a draw my life. I think that's the corniest shit in the world. Um, I don't want to do, I don't, I obviously can't do a face reveal, because you're looking at my fucking face right now. Um, I don't really like the idea of doing Q&As for milestones, because I feel like Q&As, they just aren't a good milestone video, I don't feel like. I don't know, a lot of people like to do them for milestones, I did them before, but I just don't really like the idea of doing Q&As for milestones, I just like to do it when it, I feel like it's time to do one. So if you guys could think of some stuff, maybe I'll do some real life skit stuff, or, actually I think PAX East will happen. PAX East will happen before I hit a million subs, I think. Um, a million subs is coming up pretty quick, guys. It's going to be a few months, but PAX East should happen before that, and maybe maybe I'll brainstorm some ideas at PAX East while me and all my friends are there. Maybe we can make a video together, and I'll save it until then, but give me some ideas. Caleb McDonald asks, what headset do you use? I use Turtle Beach DX11. They're similar to the X11s, which is like the cheapest headset you can buy, but the DX11s have this little digital surround sound box, basically makes it so I can hear directions. I can hear left, right, up, down, forward, behind me, so... Pretty much it's a really, really good headset that I get a sense of direction from, and I... The nice part is, like, if the headphone part breaks, the actual part that goes on your head, if those break, you can replace them with standard X11s for $30. So, it's basically a hundred, $120 headset, and if I break it, it costs me $30 to fix it. And I have broken them twice. Um, through my own, like, I dropped them, or I'd step on them, or I'd roll them in my chair. But, yeah, they're a great headset. I really like them. Frankie asks, what do you use to edit your videos? I use Sony Vegas 12 to edit my videos. Um, it's just what I'm comfortable with. It's what I've always used. Uh, I've gotten better through it. I've gotten, you know, better techniques down. I've gotten used to it. And I don't really feel like changing, so that's what I use. That's what I'm going to continue to use. David Westergreen asks, what is your favorite Pokemon? I really don't know. From the anime, Pikachu is pretty much the shit. You know, it's hard not to have some feels for Pikachu. You know? The Charizard's pretty sick, too fucking dude has a fire ass. He's pretty awesome. Daza asks, if there is one thing you'd wish people would stop tweeting you, what would it be? I definitely would wish people would fucking stop tweeting me asking if they can ask me a question. Uh, it's, it blows my mind how many times I get on Twitter and someone tweets me, can I ask you a question? Yeah, you can ask me a question. It's Twitter. Just tweet the question. <laughs> so that 
bugs the shit out of me. I don't know why people do that. Just ask me the question. I don't, I don't get it. Nicole says, will you take off all your clothes and roll around in chocolate sauce for us? Um, no. Nope. Joey M asks, where do you see yourself in two years with YouTube and life? I like this question because I've answered it before, and even since the last time I answered it, things have changed a little bit. And basically, it's pretty similar. I still see myself doing YouTube. I also see myself still going to college, kind of like part-time. Um, I'm just going to keep taking classes as long as I can, as long as I, YouTube is still an option for me, because it's really not too difficult to take a few classes on the side while doing YouTube. And it's something that I want to do because I want, I want when YouTube goes away, I want to have, you know, a degree or two and be able to go into another job and just not have to worry about things. So that's my, that's my plan and that's where I see myself. Clayton Baldwin asks, do you prefer to stream or make videos? I definitely prefer to make videos. I like the creative process a lot more and I think that my videos are funner. But streaming is fun when I just want to relax, do something easy, or play a game that I don't normally play. That's the nice thing about streaming for me is, like, I can stream any game I want, you know. Uh, maybe not everybody's gonna like the game that I'm playing, but there are still gonna be people who will come watch me play it and hang out with me and that I can interact with. No matter what game I play, I don't have to be stuck to the games that I make videos for, so that's kinda nice, you know. I wouldn't normally play, you know, like Black Ops 1 for a video, but it might be fun to stream. So, that's why I like streaming, but I also like making videos. Linky asks, if you could make a DLC for GTA 5, what would it be? Holy shit. Okay, first we need aliens and flying saucers, that'd be the shit. Dinosaurs. Fucking dinosaurs. Monster trucks? Why the fuck not? I should have a monster truck. It should be just like a tank where if you run over a car it just instantly explodes. Monster trucks would be the shit. Did I already say dinosaurs? Ali asks, are you going to attempt uploading two videos a day? Absolutely not. I... It's not possible. I can't, I can't do it. If I did it, they would be two shitty videos every day because... I just couldn't do that. I don't have enough time. You know, I do go to school part-time and it's nearly full-time. It's just a few credit hours away from being full-time, I'm from me being a full-time student. Um, but I just don't have enough time, honestly. One of my videos to go from not having anything recorded to having a video done and uploaded probably takes anywhere from six to eight hours. You know, we play for two hours or so to get all the clips and then it takes me, you know, anywhere from four to six hours to edit the video and upload it and make a thumbnail. That whole process of having no video to having a video ready to upload probably takes six to eight hours, and I simply can't do that twice a day. There's no way. Jared asks, what do you like to do in your spare time besides the obvious? I'm really creeped out about what the obvious could be, um, but I do enjoy hanging out with friends a couple, you know, a couple times a week. I generally hang out with my friends, real life friends. Um, in my spare time, you know, that's that means not doing YouTube or not going to college. Hang out with my friends, or play basketball, or go home and see my family. That's probably pretty much what I do. Regan asks, what has been the best thing that has happened to you since starting YouTube? I would say quitting my part-time job that I was doing and now doing YouTube as my job. Being able to wake up and be creative as my way of earning money is really nice. Like, it's really cool that I get to interact with you guys and get to bring you something that you enjoy and get a whole bunch of feedback from tons of people who enjoy what I do, and that's my job is really probably the best part that's happened to me since YouTube. Lindsay Eller asks why? Why the fuck not? Lexi asks, have my babies? No, I don't really have any interest in having babies right now. That's not, that's not what I want right now, no. Jogusta asks, Melanie Iglesias or Kate Upton? I would pee on both of them. Frank Lewis, who is funnier, Bill Burr or Kevin Hart? I would pee on both of them. Okay, but seriously, I like Bill Burr. Bill Burr is funny as shit. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed the q and I had a lot of fun answering your questions and just hanging out for a little bit and talking kind of about myself and about my YouTube channel and just my past and stuff. It's been fun and hopefully you enjoyed. Let's shoot for 10,000 likes on this Q&A. Probably won't get it, but uh, I challenge you to. If you do, I'll buy you a cookie or something. I'll take you, I'll take you to Dairy Queen. If we get 10,000 likes on this video, I'll take you to Dairy Queen. You can have whatever you want. I'll, I'll get you two of whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. 